What's going on there, guys? It's your boy Chris, and uh, you're about to watch patch video or video regarding the patch that came out for Xbox. But real quick, um, three things that I forgot to mention in the video, I wanted to give it to you now. Was one sniper rifles? Although there was no action taken towards sniper rifles in this patch, um, there is a rumor that in the next DLC drop there will be a new sniper rifle added in the sniper category which is fucking cool um, second thing security issues and hacks um, they implemented a number of security issues to deal with hacks um, which I've been coming across hacks more in this game than I have in any previous Call of Duty um, while the game is actually current, you know, I mean, I'm not talking about, you know, Modern Warfare 2 where, or, uh, or uh, COD 4 where mods and hacks are ruling at this point, but, um, and then the third thing is, there was, and they did address theater mode, um, uh, that, to make theater mode run smoother, I don't know what that means. I think they kind of skirt tailed around the main issue, which is uh, theater mode not recording when uh, when um, uh, people drop out of the matches or the party host drops out and shit like that. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it works. So thanks and uh, enjoy the video. Da, da, da. What's going on there, motherfuckers? <laughs> it's your boy Chris with a K. That's what I say. And it's a beautiful Sunday morning, and I'm bringing you the January 26th patch information for my Xbox brethren. Um, PSE, PS, PSE, PSE, and G. PS3, um, don't worry, you'll be getting this shit in about a month when our DLC finally fucking comes out, but, uh, real, another real huge patch drop by Treyarch, um, and, uh, a lot of stuff to go over, what you're watching in the background is my first game of Capture the Flag since Black Ops 2, uh, no, since Black Ops 1, um, this is going to be, this is actually part of my new series that's coming up, which is my dumbass playing with a regular gun. But, uh, I've been having, I can't tell you how much fucking fun I've been having playing in league matches. Um, at this point now, <coughs> by the time you're watching this, I've played uh, in all three different leagues, and I'm just having the greatest time. Um, I struggle a little bit between my guns. Somewhere in here you'll watch, I fucked up, I thought I had Black Hat equipped and I'm trying to deal with this stealth helicopter and it's just fucking up my team. But, uh, by the end, I fucking clutched the game, baby. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, like I was saying, I got, uh, I got, hmm, I got two windows open and one is the patch information which I'm going to put a link in the description of this video so that you could look over it quickly yourself. But I'm going to cover it from, I guess, what's most important to the community to the least important. Um, uh, my personal opinion, a lot of the uh, it, game issues is the most important to me um, because a lot of things just make this game unfun and uh, not necessarily unplayable. But kind of, you know, it kind of bumps you out, you know, some of the problems that this game's been having. But uh, I'm going to start with the uh, weapons and work my way up, and we'll see how far I get into this. Pistol. Pistol. Only one pistol. The Executioner. Um, increased medium range damage. Uh, I know a lot of people have been calling this gun completely useless, um, <laughs> Jericho made a really fucking funny video regarding this pistol, but, you know, I mean, what good's a 
a handgun that shoots shotgun shells if you fucking... It, you can't kill anyone with it. It don't make sense. But they fixed it, hopefully. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <coughs> a Sunday morning burp. Um, shotgun. One shotgun. The SRM-1216. I've never seen it before. I don't really use shotguns too much, although I do use one in this gameplay. So, I guess I'm fucking full of shit. But, uh, the, uh, the SRM got a slight increase in short range damage. So, I guess they feel like this gun is, uh, underpowered. I don't know. Um, my personal opinion, if they're gonna start adding in DLC, uh, you know, weapons... They should also start removing some of the weapons that just aren't being used because there's just entirely too many. In some categories, there's just too many choices. And uh, uh, I, I don't know. My, I got mixed feelings on it because uh, in some cases, oh, watch this fail. Ooh, shotgun right to the chest. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, I guess having choices is fun to people. But I think the game would be a little bit more competitive if it narrowed down the choices. I don't know. My opinion again. The uh, all right, I'm going to skip the assault rifles for a second, but I will get back to it. SMGs. All SMGs with silencer. Reduced range. All right, I think that's fair. Even though I love the PDW now. This is becoming my favorite gun. I don't know why, but... Um, I get some real beast gameplays with this gun uh, over the next couple of days. But, uh, equipment. The trophy system got a increased range. So you could get more people on your objective without getting blown up. That's cool. Um, alright. Assault rifles. All assault rifles got a reduced idle sway again. This is the second time they reduced the idle sway on the assault rifles. Um, and then, uh, there's quite, there's a long list of assault rifles here. They all got buffed, um, I guess because this ongoing, uh, this ongoing movement to try to get people to start using the assault rifles more. I mean, if they really want people to start using the assault rifles more, they, I think they should, uh, Start increasing the map sizes a little bit more and uh, make them a little bit less cluttered. I don't know. Again, my opinion. Um, I think, uh, you know, in the, the original Black Ops, there were quite a few large maps where assault rifles were, were king, you know, and uh, haven't found them, haven't seen them yet in this game. Uh, but they all got a, a, a buff. Uh, most of them got maybe either a reduced um, uh, headshot multiplier, so you could get a headshot with less bullets now. Um, and some of them got a little bit more increase in range uh, for the uh, maximum bullet penetration, or you know, eh. um, my gun that I started just using the other day was the uh, Fal OSW. Uh, <laughs> I didn't like it when I was right, you know, playing in uh, public matches with it. But uh, now that I started playing in league matches where all the attachments and everything are unlocked, and you don't actually have to work towards any of them, <coughs> I've been having so much fun with this gun. I mean, it is a fucking laser beam. Unfortunately, it is also the only only gun that got nerfed um, in the assault range. Or assault rifle category and what they did was uh, the uh, foul with select fire they increased the recoil on it um, so you have to be a little bit more careful on the trigger I guess and uh, they also increased the hip fire spread I don't fire from the hip with it um, again it's a fucking laser beam if you're using it with select fire I have been using the ACOG with select fire to uh, just pin down objectives with it and it's fucking fun. Yeah right here this is my epic fail with this this fucking chopper man. It just fucks my team up. 
And, uh, I, again, I thought I equipped Black Hat. Actually, right before this, I thought I equipped Black Hat. I thought I made up this cool anti-air cat class. And, uh, yeah, I failed. But, uh... Alright, moving along. Let's get ahead of the assault rifles. Um, I got a uh, perk. One perk. Hardwired. I ha I've never actually tried it. Um, I did unlock it. Because I think perks are one of those things where you always want to have all of them unlocked. Sometimes you get towards the uh, life cycle of a game. And uh, you find that some of these perks you've never used before actually are kind of beneficial. I don't know what Hardwired does, I'm going to be honest with you. Again, never used it. But uh, players with Hardwire are now completely unaffected by EMP grenades. Excuse me for a minute while I light my cigarette. That's cool. I guess it gives people an, uh, another reason to use it. Um, I Actually, for the first time, been encountering a couple of EMPs. Um, uh, oh, it doesn't say EMP kill streak though, so I don't know. It just says EMP grenades. But uh, yeah, in league matches, I, I, a couple people been using the EMPs, and uh, and uh, yeah, it's fun. I can't tell you again how much fun I'm having with uh, with the uh, league. All right, wow, this fucking list is overwhelming. Again, I'm gonna start at the bottom. This is issues addressed. There's a lot of fucking issues here. Various minor map fixes where were made across multiple maps. Alright. I uh, can't wait to see what they look like. A player can no longer earn medals for multi-kills if they continue to kill quickly after dying and respawning. I uh, don't know if that ever happened to me. Okay. I guess someone complained about it. Player spectating a one in the chamber game no longer earn survivor bonus points. Alright. Addresses addressed an issue where it was possible for a player to equip two assault shields at the same time. Uh I remember someone who was someone was doing this. I don't know. Maybe tech tips or tech takedown. Uh, he has all the fucking hacks and glitches, man. And uh, he showed it off. Um, players are no longer able to get infinite black hats by immediately using another black hat. Alright. Whatever. Address an issue where a stealth chopper was able to drop below the map in drone. I never saw that happen. Sounds kind of cool. Um, addressed an issue where players were able to plant numerous assault shields. Alright. That's kind of cool. Whatever. Um, improved image alignment when stereoscopic 3D is enabled. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not lucky enough to have 3D television or any of that shit, so... Hasn't affected me yet. Score and points are no longer awarded if a player destroys their own turret in hardcore FFA. Um, I guess people are using that as a uh, boost. I don't know. I I don't really boost, so I don't know. Um, fixed UI errors when linked live stream. Okay. Um, I don't live stream at the moment so I haven't tried that yet addressed an exploit where the game allowed access to the custom game setup while believing the game was in public matchmaking allowing XP okay fix select fire weapons reverting back to a default fire method when using certain kill streaks or not calling them in that did happen to me once with the uh, foul, so uh, that should be cool. Uh, players can no longer earn credit towards prestige equipment challenge through friendly flashbangs, concussions, or shock charges. Okay, uh, another boost, I guess. Uh, 
Improved scoreboard to make friendly play or friend player card information more accessible. All right. Address multiple UI issues. Um, I don't know what a UI issue is, so maybe one of you guys can let me know. Manual sorting on league teams. Remove as a result are now returned correctly. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I do, I want to tell you real quick about one problem I've had with League, um, before this game comes to an end. You know, I've been playing the qualifiers, and, uh, and all the different leagues. I guess there's three leagues, so I did the qualifiers in all of them now. And, uh, I think once or twice... Well, no, this was after I, I went through the qualifiers. This is an actual, now I've already qualified, I'm in a league. How the fuck, if I'm supposed to be getting matched up with people of my similar skill level, um, or playing level, do I get in a match with the, this fucking dude that goes 93 and 3? Like, how the fuck does everybody else... You know, we're pretty equally, you know, scored. I, I felt everything was fair, except for this one fucking guy that manages to get a 93 and 3 kill streak, you know, in fucking league competition. That shit seemed a little shady, but I don't know. What, what are you gonna do? Um. Oh, I seen it also. I was on that boat. The SS Minnow. I don't know what that little boat's called. Not the aircraft carrier, but the little one. Yacht or something. I don't know. But uh, this dude had a dog kill streak going on. And if you go to, I guess it's the front of the ship, where uh, you go underneath that little overhang. When the dog kill streak's done, all the fucking dogs go in this little fucking box. Underneath the front of the ship, it's so funny. I watched them all run in there. Like I thought they were gonna kill me. I was trying to shoot them, but and they all just ran un under this little fucking hatch. It was funny. All right, game's coming to an end. Love you all. I got the list below. Check it out. And uh, yeah, um, this is your patch information. Hopefully, making Black Ops 2 a better game for you. <laughs> that fucking rhymed. All right, love you all. Peace. Uh, yeah, I clutched the game, totally, but, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, I know it was a long, if you stuck with me, thanks. <laughs>